John Preneus, of Cha Executive Chairman of St. George Mining. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry I can't be there with you today. I'm in lockdown in Sydney. Uh, but the rest of the team is there in Perth, uh, manning our booth. So please go out and say hello to them and uh, find out anything else that I don't cover in this presentation. So a very exciting time for the nickel sector. Uh, we're entering the decade of decarbonisation. Uh, the past decade has really been one of digitalisation. So we've seen an explosion of use of uh, internet devices and smartphones. You can see from those numbers on the screen, a uh, very big increase um, just in Australia over that decade. Um, what that has done is created enormous wealth for uh, the companies that provide those services and are active in that sector. So companies like Facebook, Amazon, uh, Netflix, Google, Alphabet. Uh, that chart at the bottom of the screen shows the uh, FANG index, uh, New York Stock Exchange, just over the past three years. A phenomenal increase in value over that period. So that's great because I think something similar is going to happen to uh, the nickel sector in this next big investment theme, the decade of decarbonisation. Um, that chart on the screen uh, is the EV volume forecast. So you can see a big, big uptake uh, towards 2030. Many vehicle manufacturers saying they're not going to produce anything other than electric vehicles uh, by that time. Uh, so that's wonderful for nickel because we play a critical role in electric vehicle batteries and other energy storage solutions. Um, you can just imagine over this decade, uh, nickel produces someone like a, a Western Areas, their share price going from $3 to, to $10 by the end of the decade, something like that. So the race has begun to secure uh, nickel. Uh, this is a Tesla Roadster revving its engine, but you can't hear it. Uh, and uh, Elon Musk, the man himself, praying, begging people, begging miners to produce more nickel. The supply response. Uh, well, the miners are stepping up to the challenge. BHP has given uh, Elon Musk uh, a long-term supply deal. Uh, it's still not enough for Tesla's requirements, but uh, when the BHP announced this deal, they made a point of saying that they think uh, nickel demand for batteries is going to increase more than 500% over the next uh, 10 years. Consolidation and M&A activity is starting, not a surprise. Uh, you all know about BHP and uh, Mr. Forrest fighting over Noront in Canada and uh, Western Areas and IGO having a fireside chat here in Perth. This m and activity is wonderful, but it's not going to deliver more nickel. What we need is exploration and development to increase. And there's only one way that can happen, uh, and that is the incentive price of nickel has to go up. Uh, nickel price has to go up. Uh, this chart on the screen is rather detailed. Uh, the one to focus on is the yellow line. That's the nickel price in 2021. Shows a good momentum to the upside and also shows that it's significantly higher than the nickel price in the previous years, which are the other two lines. So that's good. Uh, incentive prices increasing. Uh, lots of people are dusting off projects and having a look at how they can produce more nickel. And that brings us to our Mount Alexander project. We have a wonderful discovery in Western Australia. Uh, the Mount Alexander project, we've discovered nickel sulphide mineralization starting 30 meters below from the surface uh, and over a strike of 5.5 kilometers. Not perfectly continuous, of course, uh, but it's a very big belt. Uh, the style of mineralization is quite rare. Uh, high grades of nickel, copper, cobalt, and platinum group metals. You just don't see that anywhere else. Other companies like uh, a chalice have got uh, a low grade nickel and high grade PGEs. Uh, we've got high grades of all those commodities, good enough for a standalone deposit. The med work we've done so far is, is fantastic. We can produce clean concentrate from a conventional flotation um, circuit, 18% nickel grades, 32% copper grades, easily saleable. And on top of our current discoveries, we've got a regional um, uh, prospect of pylon, pipeline prospects. Very good strategic location to our project, just south of BHP's flagship mines in the Agnew Luna belt, and also just south of our Western areas as Cosmos project, which is coming on stream soon. Western areas, in fact, have a 25% stake in one of the tenements in our project. It is the most successful tenement so far. Um, uh, so you're gonna uh, intuitively see we're, we're close to infrastructure, uh, workforce. It's an established mining region, uh, very easy route to market. 
Our initial discoveries were all shallow, uh, starting 30 metres below surface. You can see the assays there for some selective holes from Stricklands, cathedrals, investigators and radar. So it's a 5.5 kilometre strike that these discoveries are across. Um, the geological interpretation is that if you have such an extensive strike, there must certainly be deeper mineralisation than the, the shallow discoveries. It's an intrusive mineral system, so it's very different to uh, your typical extrusive camardiite. Uh, nickel sulfide deposits uh, in the Yilgarn Craton. We still don't know why this particular belt is there. CSIRO is helping us with a, a research project to try and uh, work out the, the genesis of all this. Uh, but certainly the petrography is uh, also confirming intrusive rocks, gabbronorite and leuconorite, which are the intrusive star rocks that host major nickel sulfide deposits uh, outside of the Yilgarn, like Nova Bollinger, uh, Savannah and Nebo Babel. So the challenge is to find more uh, mineralization at depth, bigger accumulations, and we've successfully uh, delivered that result in 2021. We have a new discovery at depth. Um, it's an intrusive star deposit, as I mentioned, so typically you will find more mineralization at depth. Uh, we've been drilling deeper holes and doing downhole EM surveys, and we've discovered uh, a, a major um, discovery with MAD199. Uh, it's intersected 11 meters, uh, of nickel copper sulfides at 330 metres down hole. Uh, this is the deepest discovery to date. Very important because it confirms that the intrusive host network does extend to depth and it is fertile at depth. The first step out hole, MAD201, was a wonderful success as well. It confirmed uh, nickel sulfide, uh, massive nickel sulfides, 125 metres down plunge of the MAD199 intersection. So very significant plunge extent of mineralisation. Both of those holes, we did downhole EM in them, uh, off hole EM conductors detected. So what we think we're seeing is a very significant uh, potential for mineralization in this location. We're seeing a lot of downhole EM conductors from our uh, downhole EM and deeper drilling. So we're calling as a field of EM conductors across the West End and investigators prospect. Um, the presence of so many conductors uh, tells us that this is going to be a very active part of the uh, mineral system at the cathedral's belt and potentially where uh, a more significant amount of mineralization will be discovered. Obviously, we want to go and drill these conductors and, and try and find that greater accumulation. Drilling is about to resume at uh, Mount Alexander, um, diamond drilling. Um, we're going to test those conductors out at West End and investigators. We've also just completed a seismic survey at West End investigators, do not have the results yet. They should be coming very soon. The purpose of that survey was to map uh, the intrusive uh, structure. Uh, so far, the drilling suggests that it extends uh, to the north-northwest at a 40 degree angle. Um, typically, these structures can uh, vary in orientation uh, somewhere along their depth. It could flatten out, uh, it could be folded, any change in orientation could be a trap site for this greater volume of mineralization that we're trying to find. So uh, we're keenly awaiting the results of that. In the meantime, drilling is going to start. As well as chasing the conductors that we've currently identified, we have started some regional exploration. Uh, the two prospects that we concentrated on in the RC drilling, which has just been completed, are the Karnak prospect and the jailbreak prospect. The Karnak prospect is the northern tenement of our tenure. Um, there's an east-west belt there, which extends for more than eight kilometers. We think it's potentially a repetition of the highly mineralized cathedral's belt. Uh, we've drilled there. We found intrusive rocks up to 85 meters thick. So we've ticked the first box. We do have intrus intrusive star rocks up there. The jailbreak prospect, that's on the more north-south oriented uh, belt at the southern tip of our tenement package. Um, this is perspective for your more typical Cambalda style Camardiite nickel. We have drilled there, made in drilling, uh, found ultramafics up to 270 metres thick, so very thick mineralisation, hopefully thick mineralisation means greater potential for larger deposits. Uh, we still have to do downhill EM down there and we are planning of course follow-up exploration uh, with more geophysics and, and drilling. So they're very exciting prospects. While we chase this bigger accumulation of mineralization uh, in the belt, we do want to just progress uh, the possibility of developing 
uh, the project. So we've uh, done resource definition drilling at Strickland's. It started that also at Cathedral's deposit. We're just talking about the shallow deposits here, so the stuff that's 30 metres to, to less than 100 metres depth. Uh, these are small, shallow deposits, high grade. Uh, we think they're amenable to some profitable high margin operation. The med work that we're going to do for the, the formal scoping study is through XPS in Canada. Uh, they're experts in this style of mineralization, the high grade nickel, copper, cobalt, and PGEs. That's, that's the typical mineralization in Canada, um, for example, at Raglan, which is owned by uh, Glencore and uh, XPS is a subsidiary of, of Glencore in doing that mineralization. So that work is underway. There's been some delays there because of COVID um, interruptions, but hopefully we'll progress that uh, before the end of the year. Uh, we've done preliminary test work uh, in Perth with strategic metallurgy and it certainly has been extremely positive, a clean concentrates, uh, high grades of uh, both um, nickel and copper concentrates, high PGs in, in both concentrates, um, certainly a valuable, valuable uh, mineralization. The PGs, 70% of that was uh, palladium and 10% was rhodium, both of which are trading at uh, record highs. So in addition to our uh, Mount Alexander project, which is our flagship project, we're also doing a bit of work at our Patterson project up in the Patterson region. Um, uh, we did our maiden drilling up there. We have two tenements. Only one was drilled in this campaign, but it was hugely successful. We confirmed the presence of the kind of uh, lithology which hosts other base metal projects in the region that we knew Discovery, for example, that Rio has, very similar rocks. And we had elevated pathfinder elements for, for base metals and gold. So very successful uh, maiden drilling program. Uh, Follow-up exploration is being planned. Currently, Airborne EM will be completed. Uh, gravity survey uh, has been completed. The results are pending and then more drilling to be planned. The corporate snapshot, most of you are familiar with our, our team, but Dave O'Neill and Charles Wilkinson are key technical people, also Dave Mahone, uh, geologist that joined us um, also uh, many years at Western Areas, a nickel specialist. They're all here today, so please go and have a chat to them if you want some more technical um, information. Uh, key items here, probably our market cap, uh, very modest 42 million, given the quality of the mineralization we've discovered, the potential scale of our discoveries. We have to prove that scale, of course. Uh, but when we do, you can quite easily see another zero being added to that market capitalization. So that's the, the challenge ahead of us. We have enough cash to complete the current drilling program and more than that. Um, so all systems go. That's the presentation. Again, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, and the team are here today out in the booth. Uh, go and have a chat to them if you want some more information. Thank you very much.